Hi, I'm Dulcie Hill. I have been disabled with MS for a very long time. And uh, what I want to talk about right now is the relationship I've had developed with the higher power, with my God, and the importance of faith in getting you through uh, the struggles that you are exposed to when you have a disease like ours. Um, when you're working full time or when you have kids or you're worried about exercising, you're distracted and you don't get the chance to research probably the most important thing in the world. Um, and I've been able to do that. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, God keeps us where we need to be uh, so that we can touch the lives of others through our own struggles. Our dreams and our wants are irrelevant, really. Um, I wanted to have a very successful career, and I was on the path of doing that. I wanted to have children. Um, and I actually had 11 frozen embryos and and I was on the path of doing that and that's another long story um, I wanted a close family uh, and I don't my immediate family is not very close I have got that with uh, my mother and my father um, who I'm on the phone with every week but uh, it gets tough because I want it to be very close. We moved here and I want it to be close. I never want it to be uh, here and not have a place to go for Thanksgiving or Christmas and you know, but God gives us what we need to be or where we need to be. Um, I never want it to struggle financially. Um, I wanted good health. I wanted to be able to walk. I love skiing and dancing, but uh, it's just, it wasn't in the cards. So uh, being in a situation where I could have been so disappointed with my lot in life, it leads uh, a lot of people to suicide. And, and uh, what's the point? What's the point if, if I can't have I don't have children. I'm in a happy marriage. Um, I have a, a cute little home um, that's small enough that I can keep clean. You know, but you know, if I can't do the things I love, if I have to use uh, a walker to walk the mall, which I no longer walk the mall, it's it can be very frustrating. It can be upsetting. It can make you angry and uh, it can make you an isolationist and I know we all feel that I know anybody with a with MS uh, who's had it for a while when you can't keep up or, or behave in a certain way if your cognitive issues uh, interfere with your uh, social interactions you tend not to commit you want to stay home you don't want to go out and, and subject yourself to embarrassing situations. Sometimes when I first got my cane, I didn't want anybody to see me with a cane. Um, and I still won't do a motorized scooter unless it goes at least 15 miles an hour. Um, yeah, I can't be low. It, it's, you know, it, it's my hang up there. Um, but what God wants from me is to be graced grateful, excuse me, grateful and embrace with the joy all the blessing he, he offers instead of focusing on the negatives of uh, the uh, crippling chronic pain and exhaustion and the difficulties of walking. Um, instead of focusing on that to, uh, to ask God to put me in front of someone I can serve. Every day I am blessed with the opportunity to serve someone, to help someone, and it's so rewarding. And and uh, in the Bible, Jesus said uh, his commandment: love others the way love your you you, you love yourself. Um, 
first you have to learn to love yourself uh, and then you can go out and, and look for opportunities um, to serve others to you know weed a neighbor's garden who is uh, uh, you know just pull a couple weeds or, or you know I walk neighbor's dogs occasionally with my Polaris I have a utility vehicle that I take around and walk all the dogs um, but just to do it one of the things that I do and I enjoy is I'll put the biggest smile on my face and I'll make eye contact at the grocery store or I'll see something and I'll just I'll point it out to that person and it's so amazing how cold the society and people have gotten uh, that they welcome warmth and and, and I'll tell you uh, it's such an opportunity to be devout in getting out of yourself um, if you stay in that isolation mode you become a hermit um, I know if I don't get out every day uh, and expose myself to somebody else um, I, I end up spending too much time between my ears and and that's not a good thing especially when you have a degenerated uh, disease um, it's it's it is a blessed it is blessed to be a blessing and I'm content in my role in his will for me and not my will for me um, I was on the path um, I had married the right person, I had the right career, I, I had planned it all, I had planned it all, and uh, um, God knew better. I don't think I'd ever be content if I haven't, hadn't gotten MS and I hadn't been humbled beyond all imagination, because um, I can glorify the Lord through my actions and uh, when I die none of us are going to be remembered very long but when I die I will have hope that uh, I will have touched enough people and, and showed enough humanity towards others that uh, I would have left the world just a little bit of a better place um, you know that's pretty much what I have to say um, if you like this or uh, you want to contact me um, feel free to do that and uh, anyway thank you for watching again and you have a nice day